Spring, the deep dark wood. After a gruelling winter, snowdrops are the first sign of life to grace the forest floor. Elsewhere, signs of the gruffalo are visible in the undergrowth. Footprints. Note these distinctive splayed toe marks caused by unusually knobbly knees. Fur that's been snagged on the branches of a silver birch tree. Gruffalo dung has a very distinct aroma to it, which is quite ironic considering he has an incredible sense of smell. The Gruffalo is an elusive creature, not commonly seen here in the UK, but there are a few things I've done to attract him here today. Firstly, trees. The Gruffalo loves trees, which give him shelter from the elements and also back scratching posts. The woods or a forest is a good place to start your search. The Gruffalo has a varied diet, ranging from roasted fox to scrambled snake, but research also shows he has a soft spot for muesli. Sprinkle some in the undergrowth to increase the chances of a visit, but easy does it. The last thing you want is an overexcited Gruffalo on your hands, and you might want to hang something from the trees. The Gruffalo loves things that are bright and orange, so see what you can find that might appeal to him. It's also a good idea to put out some Gruff alarms around the perimeter. Should the Gruffalo come into our area, he'll trip the alarm and we'll hear the bells. With these simple tips, hopefully you too can attract the Gruffalo to your area. But remember, you'll need trees, and the more trees, the better. Yorkshire Tea will be planting one million trees over the next five years. To find out more, visit yorkshiretea.co.uk slash trees or click the links.